Hello Leo, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your September 2022 mini tarot reading. Let's take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Please remember this is a general reading and if you'd like one just about you, I've included my website down below www.soulstarbliss.com and I've also included the readings by judy.com where you can book me there also. Um, you may want to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign. A lot of times they connect better than just your sun sign. And don't forget the autumn equinox. Here in the States is August, or excuse me, September 23rd. Check your calendar for where it's at for you. It is a powerful day. You're not going to want to miss the energy and the magic of that day. So let's see what we've got here. And please, please forgive my being so late. I have had a terrible chest cold, cold after returning from Florida. And I also have a bad allergy attacks going on, like where I cough a lot. So forgive me. I'll try to do the best I can not to cough. With that said, let's look what's coming for you. Oh my goodness. Today, it has been a thing of serious choices for people. And I feel like you're going to make your choices with wisdom you have from the past or knowledge you've had from the past, whether it be about work or love, it just seems like you're going to not feel like the past is going to repeat itself, but you're going to learn how not to repeat yourself because of the past experiences. Don't mean that to sound like a riddle, but if you listen to that again, you'll, you'll get what it says. It says, uh, wow, it looks like travel is wanted or travel that you recently did is going to be exciting to you. Maybe it wasn't when you were doing it, but just the fact that you can travel or you can, and this isn't for work, this is fun travel or places you had to go that make you realize how important it is to be with other folks and not be alone, excuse me. I feel real confident about more travel coming for you this year. <coughs> excuse me. But... Also, I feel like apprenticeship is still going on, and that is that you don't have to please all the people all the time, okay? It says, it's, if you can please your, oh, this has been said in different words in other readings today. If you can please yourself, it's gonna be much easier to please others. Um, like putting yourself first, which can be a little difficult with family and friends, but very necessary here. It says, if need be, if counsel is needed, and a counsel can be a lawyer, it can be a doctor, it can be two friends talking. Whatever of those that you need, get it done or go do it because it's going to help you get back to your wants, wishes, and daydreams. It seems like they've been put on the back burner yet once again. I want to say that you don't be talked into or out of things, especially regarding that because of family or friends because, you know, time goes by pretty fast. It says new beginnings, definitely possible. And that means in the area of uh, love, journey, family, friends, whatever it is, it just seems like the opportunities that are gonna present themselves, take advantage of them now, like right away, or at least contemplate them, make a plan of some kind. Don't let anyone steal that thunder from you yet again, because it is, I, I just feel like it's your turn to shine, Leo. <coughs> Excuse me. Quickly, changes are coming in the relationship department. It seems like you're at peace with who you are and how things are going. Kudos to you because there's been so much upheaval uh, in readings about um, uh, relationships. So those of you that are doing well, you know, I'm really happy for you. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. This coughing thing is driving me nuts, <laughs> driving me nuts here. Um, Let's see here. That feeling of being stuck somewhere, you're not stuck anywhere unless you put that badge on. Oh, I'm stuck here. Take the badge off. Throw it in the trash. Move forward. Get the creativity going again. You know, those of you that are creative, like to paint, make things, do whatever. That in your spare time, if you have any, make time for it because it's going to help you in all areas. Feel like things are going to go up and down, up and down, up and down, which they have for everybody. But remember, when things are down, they can turn around right away and go back up. So try not to make any foolish choices when you're, they're really down. It's hard to decide a lot of things then. But look at your relationships because it looks like there's been improvements for many, many, many of the Leos in the love area, which, oh, I'm so happy for you. <coughs> Again, choices are going to be made. I feel like you're making some choices. Spirit is definitely going to guide you if you want them. If you've been praying and asking for something or manifesting, because you are a powerful manifester, Leo, 
Your excuses are gone now and they certainly can come right to you. Just because things didn't turn out exactly as they planned, but remember a lot of times the storm comes to clear the way. And I feel there's been a lot of clearing for you this year. Maybe a lot of things have changed. I feel like people have been, you know, left the earth walk. Maybe family members or friends have decided to leave. But that was their choice. Move forward best you can because there's joy here for you in many areas. And again, I want to say, bring back some of that creativity. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> That's right before you. You deserve it. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to put yourself first. You have put yourself behind and, you know, everyone ahead of you. Make a little change there and you're going to see that there's going to be reasons to celebrate. You're going to, I feel like family is coming together or friends. A lot of friends are like, you know, family. I just feel you're going to see you're not walking alone. And that is such a good feeling. Travel that you had planned maybe last year or even the first part of this year, rebook. It's going to happen for you. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I try to edit those out and I end up screwing it up. So again, forgive me, please. Star card says you have a lot of energy of spirit around you. Don't focus on what's gone. Focus on what you still have. And that's going to bring you more of what you want. Remember what we think about. We think about negative, we're going to get more negative. We think about positive, it's going to bring us more positive. Easier said than done. Yes, I understand. But try it. You'll like it. I'm sure you will. <coughs> So sorry, Leo. So sorry. But I do feel victory is before you. I'm sorry this is going to be a little short because I feel a big coughing spell coming on. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. I so appreciate you dropping by and I'll see you again next month.